So today we will be discussing on top of React Redux, how exactly it is structured and how we can make use of it. So first thing first, for working on React application, we do need to have Node installed in a machine. So you can directly download Node by using Node Download. And then we can see we have the MSI package managers available from where we can have Node downloaded. Once we have this installed, then we can check the version of Node by typing in Node-V, and this is going to show us the version of Node that we have installed. Now to start working on the React application, we can use npm create npm install. So for the first time, we have to install create React app. So this is going to download all the React libraries that we need to start working with. Once we have this installed, then we can go ahead and make it. Now, since we have already installed it, so we won't spend time in, in reinstalling it. And then to start working on the package, we can use npx as a node package execute. And then we can type in create React app, not create React app, by using the package manager here as in create React app. React app, we can define the app name. Suppose here we want to call this one as React app. So this is going to set up all the application components. Okay, we don't have this. So if this is not installed locally, then this is going to be first of all installed. And once this is installed, then this will go ahead and create a React app. When we say create React app, that means the React, React DOM, React scripts, and the CRA template, they all are going to be installed into this library. Let this be installed. So as you can see here, it's done. So now it's almost taking some time here because sometimes it does take a time. So in the meantime, Redux is what? React Redux is basically the UI is used for UI binding. So it allows us to make sure that again, the, we are able to keep up to date with any of the API changes to ensure that the React components behave as expected. So we can make use of the concept of store, action, and reducer. And if you want to work with Redux, then we have to also install the Redux library as a part of NPM install. Redux and React Redux. Let this be installed. Not sure why this is stuck. So here we can switch to this demo app that we have created. And then we can use npm start just like we start any node application. So and then we can open up the entire directory into our VS code. So this is a demo app that we have created so we can open it up. And under the source file, so index.js is like the entry point of React application that we are looking at. And whatever we are just, we can see, we'll be looking at in the browser. That means this, this is what? This is the setup for the basic React application. So here, if you want, we can remove the header component. And we can define, let's say we want to place H1 as a part of welcome to react app. 
So we will be able to set it up so you can save it. And we will be able to see this in the browser, open up an end. So are we all clear on how we can set up a React application first? Can you please confirm? Because technically, if you want, we can go ahead and define the components in here. So here, what we are doing, we are simply doing a component nesting. That means placing one component under the other. So you can see this one has been placed. Now, if you want to change the styling, we can also do that under the header.js. Suppose here we had defined these. Now, under the app CSS, we want to add the padding for 20 pixels so that the elements can be placed set or a separate tool we can say separately we can see this is what we define if you want we can go ahead and define the styling or any head class where you want to place and where we can define some as center and if you want we can define the body for the background or let's say we can keep it as a simple background color and we can define what kind of background color we want suppose here we want to use this or we want to use black We can define that under the list, all the individual list items. We want to define the effect for hover. So we can define list for the hover shadow class. We want to set the background color to be, let's say, voided. We can define that, save it. And when we are defining things, suppose here we want to add the class name. So here we can define class name, which is going to be whatever name we have given, whatever name we have given, so that the styling can be applicable to this head section here. And that's how they are going to be placed accordingly. And now suppose here we want to change one thing more, the individual list items, color of those should be white and the anchor tag text color should also be white. And along with that, we want 
the color of all the text to be white in this division. You can save it. So you can see this header section has been created, and this is the hover effect that we have added for all the individual menu items. And then we can customize it, we can place it as a way we want. So are we all clear on this part on how to include the components within another component? So as it's been being almost time now, so let's wrap it up for today, everyone. First of all, a big thank you to you all for joining and see you all 